fourth grade. I miss you all and I wanted to read a story to you today called Pippin Takes a Bath. And I was going to show you a picture of my dog, but she's being uncooperative. So maybe at some point in the video, I'll get to show you her. Oh, here she comes now. Lola, look here. Sit down. This is Lola, guys. I know you saw her picture at school a lot, but now she's here at home with me being bored, huh? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read you this story called Pippin Takes a Bath. And there's a website... I'm trying to find it. Oh. It's called openlibrary.org, and Mrs. Descoli um, gave me this website. If you guys want to go on to it, you can, since the libraries aren't open, you can look at a bunch of different books and pick a book if you want to read it to yourself. Um, there's a bunch of them online. Now I've got to get back to my book. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> it's called Pippin Takes a Bath. Lola's going to get a bath today because she's really stinky. So I thought that this would be appropriate to read to you. Pippin was a yellow dog with great big ears and a curly black tail. She loved to play in the mud. One day Pippin found a big mud puddle. She splashed in that puddle, splish, splash, splish, splash, until she was muddy from her ears to her tail. Then she went home. Oh, Pippin, said Mabel, you are too muddy. You can't come into the house like that. Mabel put away her paintbrushes. She set a big metal tub in the yard and filled it with water. Pippin hated baths. She hid in the rose bush. Mabel pulled Pippin out, picked her up, and put her in the tub. Lola hates to get a bath. Does your dog hate to get a bath? <laughs> Zoom, went Pippin. She raced out of the yard and through the field. She jumped into the ditch and peeked out through the cattails. Come back here, she shouted Mabel. She ran through the field until she came to the ditch. Ah, said Mabel, and she tried to grab Pippin, but her foot slipped and Mabel plopped into the mud. Ribbit, said a frog. Woof, said Pippin. Mabel went back to the house and took a bath. Pippin had to stay outside. The next day, Mabel said, Right, Pippin, today you will have a bath. She filled the big metal tub with water. Pippin hid in the tool shed. Mabel hauled Pippin out and picked her up and put her in the tub. Then she picked up the shampoo. Zoom, went Pippin. She dashed out of the yard through the field and over the ditch. She crossed the brook on a log and hid in some prickly blackberry bushes. Come here, Mabel shouted. You need a bath. Mabel ran out of the yard and through the field. She jumped over the ditch and stepped onto the log. Ah, said Mabel. And she tripped. Right into the cold water, she fell. Quack, said a duck. Woof, said Pippin. She licked Mabel's face. Mabel went back to the house and sat in a hot bath and drank tea. Pippin had to stay outside all alone. Come back here, Mabel shouted. You need a bath. Mabel ran out of the yard and through the field. She jumped over the ditch and stepped onto the log. The day after that, Mabel said, Pippin, today it's your turn to have a bath. She marched Pippin into the house and upstairs to the bathroom. Pippin darted away and hid in the closet. Mabel dragged Pippin out, carried her to the tub, and turned on the hot water. Zoom went Pippin. Splash went Mabel. Pippin dashed over the stairs and out the door. She galloped out of the yard, through the field, over the ditch, across the log, and into the woods. Mabel leaped out of the tub. She ran out of the house, through the field, and over the ditch. She hurried across the log, into the woods. Pippin tried to hide in a fox's hole, but it was too small. Then she tried to climb a tree, but she couldn't. Pippin, come back, called Mabel. Then Pippin saw a pile of rocks. It looked like a good place to hide, but something was sleeping there in the, in the sun. It was black and white. It wasn't a dog. It wasn't a cat. Woof, said Pippin. The skunk woke up. It stamped its feet and waved its tail. Yip, Pippin yelled. 
what a smell, what a horrible smell. It stung her eyes and her nose and her throat. Pippin ran and ran and ran, but she couldn't run away from that smell. Pippin rolled in the brook, but that didn't help. She rolled in the grass, but that didn't help either. She rolled in the muddy ditch, but she couldn't get rid of that smell. Have any of your dogs got sprayed by a skunk? Lola never has, <laughs> but I'm sure some of yours have. Pippin ran to Mabel and jumped up on her and whined. Oh, Pippin, said Mabel. Mabel took Pick and Pippin home. She put on her oldest clothes and sat the big metal tub in the yard. Pippin's ears dropped and then her, t her tail between her legs. But she got into the tub all by herself. Pippin rolled in the brook, but that didn't help. She rolled in the grass, but that didn't help either. She rolled in the muddy ditch, but she couldn't get rid of that smell. First, Mabel gave Pippin a bath with tomato juice. Then Mabel gave her a bath with vinegar. Pippin whimpered. It smelled almost as bad as the skunk. This is what happens to dogs who get, who get sprayed by skunk, said Mabel, and she gave Pippin another bath, this time with smelly shampoo. Finally, Mabel dried her with a big green towel, but Pippin still smelled like a skunk, so she had to stay outside. The next day, Pippin took another bath, and the day after that, another. And at last, Mabel let her come into the house again. Then it rained. The mud puddle got bigger and bigger and bigger. Pippin put one paw into it. The mud oozed between her t toes. It was sticky and smelled like rain and old leaves. Pippin jumped in with four paws. She splashed in that puddle, splish, splash, splish, splash, until she wore, muddy, she wore mud from her great big ears to her curly black tail. Then she went home. When Mabel saw Pippin, she sighed and then she laughed. Oh, Pippin, said Mabel. So Pippin's gonna need to get another bath. Lola needs a bath. Say hi, Lola. Tell them you are stinky, you need a bath. <laughs> so I think we're gonna bath her today. I hope you are all having a good time off from school, even though it's not really probably what we want to be off school for, but I hope that you're all staying healthy and, you know, doing well at home and I miss you guys and I hope I get to see you soon. Bye!